Hi, this poem is called Some Deserted Gooseberries, Her Desert Island Luxury. Savour the barbs and the bitterness, give the sugar its due, let it crumble. Flavour the sight with greed, but take heed, the bard prickles. Some red in the hue, sharp the pang, slow the tangy taste of remorse of the frayed, winged, purple-tinged, soft fruit of England's bloom. Lost the edge of the green's heritage, red-striped warps from the fantastical, fantastically fatal look of the ageing womb. Last wefted plumes of the honeyed honeycomb. So they asked her, so she said, the rehearsed words too loudly spoken, the skin plump as yet unbroken, the heart now empty was bound to burst, all alone, all deserted and dictated on the airways, all hailed before the thousand clichés spoken as a token to a feigned and fabulous nostalgia. Repeat again, not yet beaten, comfortably seated beneath the thorns, beneath the borns of earth-born desires, admired by the greats of windswept elders, like the gooseberry bush. I like the taste. May I decline the waste of the word of the chosen book, the frozen sunbeam of the deserted island of our glacé past. Like dreams of what might have been, recycled desert islands of whatnots, our past dreams of what seemed sweeter behind the leaves of the otherwise treasured fruit. Under the bush of lusciousness, the silence is in the seams, lovingly sewn, frivolously fashioned on the catwalk of the radio. Thank you for sharing your pudding ringed risks. It was like music, almost. Almost good enough to eat by the taste buds of the malcontented and the tongues of the deserted shores. It was the gooseberry of the Nevermores.